Liango, Liam Cooper King, Jay Bowen, Tom Lucas, Dominic Peters, Dario Stout, and Jordan Gomez. Players are out there. And these guys are playing for what, Rob? The bowl. They're playing for yeah. the bowl final. So our first final of the afternoon. Both teams have performed admirably at this tournament. What's your favorite team between these two? I gotta ask, I gotta ask. The favorite team in uh, this tournament? For you, term for you personally. I like to talk about that too, you know. I, I, we're humans, we have favorites. You Who bet. is yours, Rob? I think uh, I would go with the underdog. I like watching that St. Vincent team play. Really love when they scored a few tries. It's wonderful to see. But you can't be going for St. Vincent, they're not in anymore. So now between Bahamas and Barbados, who are you going for? Uh, I think uh, Barbados uh, yeah. have a little bit more skill. But Bahamas love that contact, and it's yep. great to see. They're it's a wonderful physical. part of the game. Yep, very physical team. And here they go. Bahamas off to the races in contact. That's number four, Andrew Kemp, Ooh. retaining possession. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was a hand here that came into the ruck. Referee right on the mark. Good job, good call. Hands in the ruck. You know, I've got to admit, the ref refereeing has been very consistent in this tournament, and that, that's nice to see because uh, when you have inc inconsistent refereeing, it makes it difficult for the players to kind of get a flow of the game. And in sevens rugby, the flow of the game is so important. Absolutely. And Bahamas here, nice little pick and go. They love that They're pick and go, man. right? They Number love six, that pick and go Bahamas. Beetle. They do, they want to keep the ball in contact, suck in that defense, spin it out wide. And when they, they put their the ball back. When they put their phase play together, ball in hand, they are very dangerous. Held up right there, ball off the ground, so Barbados got it. That's the danger, you know, of uh, bringing in constantly the ball in contact is you get wrapped up by two, three players of the opposite team, it's really hard to get it back, you know. I just, especially if you're a smaller guy, I lived that a few times, it's not fun, you know, you get all wrapped in, you, you want to get it back, there's nothing you can do. And one of the differences, and in sevens, you at times want to stay out of contact, don't you? Yep. Keep that ball alive. Keep away kind of rugby. So up the sideline for Bahamas, Ooh, number eight, big Dorian right Butler. There. Finding that contact, good leg drive by the Bahamas. Again, they eh, going straight back into it, pick and drive. They're playing in your face rugby right now. This is number four, Andrew Kemp moving the ball out wide. Again, Kemp with the ball, just backtracking, saying let's get back in a little bit more depth. Taking the ball in is number six, their go-to player, Beadle. And at the, at the moment, Barbados showing a nice form in their defense, not panicking. Only two guys for Bahamas wide. They're committing a lot of people to the breakdown. So this is number 14, Lever Boyd. Ooh. Risky play and oh. lovely pickup by number one, Marcus Howard. Moving the ball out wide, Barbados capitalizing off this turnover, scoring in the side. Their tall, lanky, strong player, Sean Ward, number five jumper. Again, right there, unforced errors. Well, it's interesting, Threw rugby, the ball away. you yeah. can see one team playing what we'd call playing all the rugby with all the possession, and one little mistake. That's next, what happens. In sevens, yeah, in sevens, that, we've mentioned it so much over the weekend, but in sevens, I mean, if you commit too many people to one thing and it doesn't come off, you're really putting yourself on, under a, a, a tremendous pressure, and this is exactly it, because Bahamas was doing, you know, they're doing quite well. But one little thing and bang, Barbados in the corner. So five nothing, Barbados. So many speedsters, so many great athletes on the field at once. Obviously, it's a strategic thing with Bahamas to play that style of rugby. We've seen it over and over again. You know, sometimes you adjust the games and you kind of pick up that style. But we've seen ba Bahamas over and over again in their games uh, utilizing this type of uh, strategy. And so far in this match, uh, it hasn't come off. So a deep kick chosen by Barbados. Bahamas looking to move the ball up nicely. Ah, ball going to ground. That's number 10 for the Bahamas. Turnover for Barbados. They're going to try and spin this ball out wide. Nice footwork. And that is... Barbados, number seven, Jamal Curry has been fantastic. Showed lovely skills, lovely strength. Nice little step off his left foot.
goes in for the try. Yeah, well, right here, I think uh, there's going to be a bit of a sense of urgency here for Bahamas. They have to right here. I mean, they're not running with decisiveness. You know, they're just hesitating and balls are being thrown all over the place. And, uh, I don't know. In their own end zone, too. You know, that's the one place on the field you got to stabilize and stay a little calmer, even though you have pressure. And right there, that's twice. Twice they make a mistake. And Barbados, easy tries. And smart play by Barbados. They're looking to yep, kick the ball deep. Right. They want to pin them deep as opposed to that short kick that we see Canada do so well. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot behind these games, you know, a lot of preparation and all sorts of strategies against each other. It can change from one game to the other depending on what, what the opposite team does. And in this situation here, these teams resemble each other quite a bit, but I think that Barbados plays a pretty uh, more complete kind of uh, game, you know. And I apologize, that was Leon Driscoll, rather, scoring the try yep. for Barbados. So again, Barbados choosing to kick deep and pin the Bahama team down in their own end zone. And Bahamas looking to move this ball. Again, fine contact and offload. They're doing that very well right now. Lovely little switch pass. Here's a sweeper coming on. That's the job of a sweeper to pick up any little kick that comes through. Good That's job. Pick up by Tom Lucas. Ooh, Nicely he done. He can't get up. He was held. Cannot get up. Small error there. The referee saying. Threw the ball away. Lose 10 yards. 10 meters, excuse me. So Bahamas now to Kemp in the middle of the field, running onto with pace. Number three, Andrew Bain, another West Indies product. Bahamas moving the ball out wide, finding contact. That's number two, Devin Woodside. A little bit of a counter ruck we see from Barbados. Sloppy ball and referee penalizing Bahamas, saying falling over, you must keep your feet at the ruck, of course. I'd like to mention also, you know, you mentioned uh, West Indies products. When we talk about products, what we mean is a lot of these islands are British islands, you know, so a lot of these people not necessarily living there or don't ne are not necessarily born there. Uh, so when we say a product of the West, you know, normally it's a, a, a country that's actually the, 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 the player is born there, you know, and that more and more, we're going to see more and more of that, I think, in these island teams. Right now they had to start with what they have, but in the future, the future is bright, you know, for their youngsters and you know, get involved in rugby, and you will have a chance. Definitely, if you're born there, uh, I think it better, it's a better chance for you to, as a young player, to uh, make it to the top level. Yeah, we see one of those uh, playmakers, tall, strong, homegrown, Sean Ward yeah. for the Barbados, number five jersey, moving up the sidelines, but a nice cover to tackle by the Bahamas. Knock on ball, I think we're gonna have a scrum down for the Bahamas, a little bit of an injury. You can't see what player it is, but he's grabbing some water there. Looks like he's going to be fine. That's number 10, Casey Charlton for the Bahamas. Good to see him up, ready to go. I think some of these guys, uh, once this is all over, are going to be very happy to have a nice cold beer to cool down. Uh, are you talking about me or me and you or them? Uh, Both. You know, I'm done, I'm done drinking. <laughs> I've had many years of pleasure and... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 we're definitely going to have a beer too, but the, these guys are, are going to definitely deserve it after all their hard work. Very deserving, absolutely. Here we go. So and the fans are going to mingle with them a little bit after. That's the great part of Sevens, so you can mingle with the fans a little bit after, meet, meet the people, and, you know, that's what promotes the game. Barbados moving the ball. That's number two, Phil Lucas. Lovely little pass. Giving it to their fast On the guy. outside, their speedster, number nine, Joe Bowen, shaking, bacon. Keeping that ball alive. Looks like a little bit of a knock forward. Yep, referee on the spot to pick that up. And that'll be the first half. So at the halftime, we have Barbados up by 10. Yeah, yeah, anybody's game. Anybody's game. And we, both those tries came off, uh, unfortunately, off uh, uh, Bahamas mistakes. You know, unforced errors, I would call them. So, uh, yeah. Talk about mingling uh, with the crowd. Is that one of your... I look back at my experiences, and that was one of the fun the yeah. fun parts of the game, wherever you were, whether it was in Hong Kong, Dubai, New Zealand, mingling with the crowd after doing your lap yeah. after you've yeah. played, and, and that appreciation, that connection that's so strong in rugby all around the world. You mentioned those three places. You mentioned Hong Kong, Dubai, and New Zealand. Those uh, are were favorite 
places for me because uh, the fans are just so great you know they, they they're knowledgeable about their rugby too and that's the great part and that's why these tournaments are great because our people too our canadian people are going to be become more and more knowledgeable of sevens rugby and we have uh, rugby in the olympics in four years we're going to know what we're talking about we're going to know what to look for and uh, yes to answer your question always one of my favorite things to do mingle around and have some fun meet some people you and bet. I guarantee you here, it's going to happen. All the tents are set up for the after uh, tournament stuff. Uh, yeah, and these guys deserve it, definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So both teams looking to clinch this bowl final between Bahamas and Barbados. Of course, Barbados scoring two unconverted tries and up by 10, but by no means Bahamas out of it at this point. They like that physical contact. They're good at it. A few more passes and... They're going to be on the scoreboard here. So we can see down here, Bahamas speaking with the referee, finding the mark to where, where he will restart this second half. So to get us restarted, this is number six, Durham Beetle, choosing to go a little bit longer. And that's five. Sean Ward running laterally across the field. Hard hit. Met by Duron Butler, number eight. Little shake and bake from number 10, Tom Lucas. Distributing the ball very nicely. Again, out to Sean Ward up the sideline. And he finds number four, Steph oh, Trakis. Nice pass. Off the foot. Referee saying off the foot play on. That's Marcus Howard moving the ball out to the middle of the field, doing a nice job of swinging it from one side to the other. Oh, and lovely collection by number nine, Joe J. Bowen. Nice big strides, eh? He's a fast guy. Ooh, that was close. And he's going to make things a little bit interesting by slowing up. Good uh, pursuit by Bahamas. That's 14, not giving up on it. Uh, Levar Boyd, but another score for Bermuda, or Beatles, rather. Some of the players, I hadn't even had a chance to leave the half here. That's what happens. Those are the greatest tries. They kick off, bang, 10 seconds later, try. Nobody's even left their spot. Have you had some of those situations? I, I, when you're on the right side of those, yeah. uh, it is it is great, absolutely. <laughs> and we saw Canada, well, Canada and US can't do that very yeah, well. Yeah. Get under the ball, knock it back. Which was why well, they're the, the top The kickoffs have become uh, a set play, you know. It, that's what it is. It used to be 50-50 ball. And now, I mean, some of these teams, they, they just know exactly what they're doing. And actually, we've seen in this tournament different options. Some teams kicking in the middle. Some kick, teams kicking it deep right here. We see deep in, in the middle. See, that that would be the stra stra strategy for Barbados now. They keep the ball further, put the pressure on Bahamas, and keep their lead, their 17-point lead. Right here is... A little bit of sideways Lovely running. Little loop around, and they're going to have to straighten here. Again, the contact. Nice cover tackle by Sean Ward. Ball out of bounds. We're going to have a line out for Barbados. So the knock on has been called, rather, knock on Bahamas. So it will be a scrum down. Barbados ball. And that's number seven, Leon Driscoll, their setup man, to put the ball in. Barbados here really controlling the pace of that game, you know, in every which way. It's just time's running out now for uh, Bahamas. Barbados coming into this this tournament looking to upset teams, and they, they have. played well. They yeah, played they well. have. Obviously, beating Guyana was uh, one of their big victories of the tournament. Nice One though. of the first upsets of the tournament. I see a chip kick by number two, Phil Lucas. It looks like they've recovered the ball. Just get it there, and they, they did good communication. And now attacking that line is number one, Marcus Howard. Shipping it off to their setup man, Driscoll. Knock on. Knock on ball. Bahamas not being able to take advantage. Sometimes when you have a turnover like that, a knock on ball is the best time to take advantage if you've gotten the ball, isn't it? Because you can find the defense napping because they were just on attack. Exactly. Uh, I see exactly what you mean on that. 
unfortunately in this case Bahamas again not running being able straight to you know rob i'll mention it over and over again this, you know there's a clear overlap if one of those guys had straightened up you're taking away a player that's coming across the field so scrappy scrum oh, stolen ball by barbados steal by long striding number five sean ward and again he's going in for a second or third time today is that a try we had sean ward seconds ago or even before that scrum asking to be uh, pulled off the field and there he is if he had done that he wouldn't have had that try i think he's going to get his wish right now coach is prepper uh, there you go well deserved break it looks like they've put the, this one to bed with that try <laughs> so to speak yeah but uh Sean Ward coming in this tournament. No one has a hard runner, playmaker, guy uh, not to be trifled with on the sideline. Yeah. Barbados tries scored by number five, Sean Ward. So Sean Ward, <laughs> Sean Ward got his wish. He's on the bench, but he had to score a little five points before going to, uh, to the bench. And Barbados oh, looking for a quick ball. There you go. It's, That's legal ball. It's gone 10. Nice call by the referee to That's let that we ball. That's what we were talking about. Look at these on. guys. They haven't even. Whoa! That's Barbados number six, Antonio Boyne Charles, up the sideline and referee on the spot to make the call, saying holding on. And Bahamas quick tap. We'd like to see that. Keep this ball moving. Again, going into contact. That's number six, Duran Beetle, and referee saying hands in the ruck. In seven, it's really easy to put your hands in the rock. I mean, it, it, it's quite chaotic. You know, sometimes even in a 15s game, it's more uh, controlled rocks. In this, I mean, it's just people are flying in from all sides. It's even hard to know where you re really are at times. So, you know, those are uh, those are the types of things you'll see often. Hands in the rock. And, and here oh. we go, lovely step from Liam Cooper King. Yeah, that was a big, beauty. powerful runner. Slowed him up, accelerated, and he's in for the try underneath the post very deceiving runner yeah I'm, I'm surprised why Bahamas continues with the, their style of play I'm not sure if it it's you know they're almost forcing it in this case trying to go into contact trying to go into contact and uh, Barbado um, Barbados doing a nice job of turning the ball an over. all around game Barbados play. even you know if, if, if we look at the players you know you see a lot of thicker boys on the Bahamas side you and you know, want it, so you want to use that to your advantage yeah. but if it's not working yeah. spin the ball out wide or right? have it with a couple of your players not the uh, majority of the team your fast guys you can't start getting them into the pileups because they're not going to be fast for much longer after that so the reality is use the big boys for that job but then use your speed so last minute of play here we the crowd love to see Bahamas score one on their final few drives a nice little switch ball and storming up the middle is number five, Charles Smith. Looking for that offload, lovely offload to number six, Durham Beetle. And he's dummied one player. Lovely offload to the number two, Woodside. But unfortunately, a knock on ball. Unfortunate, Again. all that hard work. That's great support play, but this is the kind of uh, play that we want to see from Bahamas. These big boys there, yeah, that was some great, great, great passing from the big boys. So, final that's score. the end of 14 minutes. The final score is 29 for Barbados and 0 for Bahamas. So, a victory for uh, Barbados. They've won the bowl. I guess uh, we're going to have a bowl presentation right now. Yes, well earned for Barbados. Great effort by both teams. Wonderful performances in these tournaments.